Buongiorno pasta loving friends, this is Chef Rosario with the National Pasta Association and today we're going to make a wonderful recipe inspired by the island of Sardinia. In the island they have special pasta and one, one of these pasta shapes is called Malloreddus or uh, gnocchi sardi and I'm going to make it with an ingredient that Sardinians love which is mussels I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking, gee, I don't know how to do mussels, how to cook, how to prepare mussels. Well, I'm gonna show you that. So, I soaked these mussels in uh, lightly salted water. You know, pretend, tell the mussel, pretend you're in the sea. I go like this to make sure that, see that this is very tightly closed. It means it's a healthy mussel. I'm gonna pull this beer, they call it. In Italy, they say bisso. Fiber that they use to keep attached to some, uh, rocks or other uh, ropes if they are fundraised, but these they look wild. So I'm just making sure they don't open. I'm not going to use this mussel, see? This one, it was a broken shell. I don't know what got inside, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So that's good. I'm gonna probably end up with maybe eight ounces of clean mussels, but this is about two pounds. First, I'm gonna put some uh, white wine. This is a dry white wine. Like into the hot pot here, like a Pinot Grigio, maybe you know, half a cup. I'm gonna put some parsley stems, one bay leaf, clove of garlic in there, a pinch of saffron. Uh, I just added the white part of a nice big scallion that I bought at the market today. I'm gonna use part of the green as a garnish later on. And now I'm putting the mushroom. Cover it and cook it only a few minutes until they start to open and release the juices. And then I'm gonna remove some from the shell. I'm gonna save some shells for garnish. They're all open, you see? Beautiful, and I want them, I don't want to overcook them. Uh, if these aromatic, like the sea, like seafood, like fresh seafood, they're good. If there was a bad mussel there, you would smell like low tide. So this is a good test. Ah, the mussels are just about ready. Look, this is when they're ready, when they are still, they detach from the shell, they are nice and plump. These are beauties, look at this, gorgeous, wow. See how the, sh the meat is very plump and it covers almost the whole shell. That's fantastic. The mussels are all out. I'm gonna save this precious broth that I'm gonna use as a sauce for my pasta, but I'm gonna strain it to make sure there's no whatsoever, not even the slightest hint of sand. Okay, I'm gonna leave a couple of good looking ones for garnish. Okay, I have the, some mussels in the shell for garnish, most mussels out of the shell for the yummy pasta dish. Okay, we are ready to go. Water is boiling. You know the routine, put a little salt to taste. Malloreddus, about eight ounces in the water. I'm gonna give a little stir. And uh, these are malloreddus are gonna cook fast, so we'll keep an eye on them according to package direction. Let's start the sauce right here. About a quarter cup of olive oil. I like uh, a little chili pepper. I'm gonna put it there just to flavor the oil. I'm gonna put the garlic first. The garlic is just about to turn golden, not brown, just golden. Don't burn the garlic. I'm gonna put the tomatoes. 
about one cup of sliced cherry tomatoes. Oh, let's go away. The cooking broth of the mussels is going to go right in there. Taste. Mm, delicious. I can taste the saffron, the aroma, the, the liquid of the mussels, the liquor they call it. That when the mussels open, it releases a juice like seawater. It tastes um, just like a vacation in Sardinia. Pasta is almost ready. I'm gonna put the mussels into the sauce. I'm going to add my greens, the scallions and the parsley. I'm going to add the Sardinian gnocchi in there. I'm going to put the pan on high here. Look at this. I'm going to remove the chili. It's not going to need pepper because of my chili was there. I'm going to just a pinch of salt, but the mussels carry some salt water inside, so you're not going to need a lot of salt either. Just a pinch. And this is just about ready. I want to wait until it gets a little drier and the, the pasta will absorb a little bit more of the liquid. Siamo pronti! It's ready! I'm going to add some of these mussels that I reserved as a garnish. Signore e signori, Malloreddus, Sardinian style Malloreddus with cozze. Mm, great aroma, enjoy and share the pasta.